Ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary hoes, it's Tuesday. You know what that means. It's time for PBW vs. AVW. There's a return show after the surprisingly underwhelming over the top. Except for that women's triple threat match, that was really good. But yeah, we have a definitely stacked night of matches, because I only slightly amended one of them out of necessity, but my good friend Haley, aka Blitz, did book pretty much the entire card. And we're kicking off with three harsh environment qualifying matches, starting with King Roddy vs. Caesar Stone. It's okay, dude. But family is always the most important thing. Says the guy who doesn't really talk to as much. <laughs> And here comes the man. Pimpin' ain't easy. It should be. Like, I only slightly had to fix one match. Like, I didn't even question any of the matches that uh, Haley made up. And I only had to slightly men one because of it conflicting with the Razor Classics element. So I've got absolute faith in it that this card will bang. I love a return show. And I love King Roddy as well. I think he's fucking great. But he's going up against my hoss. Caesar Stone. Former PB2B tech champ. Where's the towel on his head and looks cool? I didn't think I'd be as invested in Caesar as, as I am, but I really like how he's come along. <laughs> I wish I could put uh, this much stock and investment into a female wrestler. Here comes Big Caesar. Huge lad. Oh, I don't like how the coat looks when it's glitching on the side like that. That was really weird to see. <coughs> but still. Ugh. Good old drink. He is coming off of a loss at... Over the top, I think, because Jacob Starry beat him. Which I'm slightly sad about. <sighs> Yourself running with a big slam. Base booster style. Moonsault misses. Oh, good high kicks. Ruddy taking it to Caesar early with his big strikes. Will kick catches Caesar off guard. And going for a Boston Crab. Mind if Caesar reaches the ropes, it won't really matter because extreme rolls and shit. But he does reverse and get out of it. Oh. Oh, goodness. is going to the top now. Massive leg drop. Oh, 
I'm going for an armbar. You don't really see him doing many submissions. Probably because he's known for punching people. <sighs> Just gave from Roddy. Ooh, great reverse STO pin. One, just one. Roddy's gonna try and go for a weapon. Teaser's not gonna let him. <sighs> Teaser kicks him away. Oh, right right into the steps and Roddy goes back into the ring. He can't win by count out though, so what's his plan here? Canadian Destroyer? Why the hell not? Yo, Bobby, what's up? Oh, oh, drop Caesar's kneecaps right on that step. And going to the top, and oh, what a splash! That was a hell of an angle for that, I like that, that was good. Caesar throws Roddy into the steps. Is it going to go for? He gets a sledgehammer. Oh, right to the guts. Oh, right to the guts. Oh, right to the arm, I think. Right to the leg. Brody finally counters. Doesn't pick the lad, uh, the lad of the hammer up. As Caesar up. Oh, big slam. And shooting star. There's a great answer to the other one, but got to do with the counter of his own. They're trading back and forth right now. Oh, somehow went to the ring post there. He turned his head at the last second. Backbreaker to King Roddy and just tossed aside. Caesar's gonna go for now. Is he gonna get that sledgehammer back in? He does. And oh my god! Doesn't get a chance to use it. King Roddy firing on all cylinders right now. Oh my goodness, that was on the sledgehammer. One, two, no, Caesar kicks out. Caesar has Roddy up, I think it was over the stone wall, but Roddy counted. And Roddy looking for the P A E. One, two, no, Caesar kicks out. Went for the sledgehammer. Got him with that one. I don't know if the P A E is the name of Roddy's finisher. I still haven't updated that, but I thought it sounded cool. PAE driver. Oh, big clothesline in the corner. Caesar's so gonna go for another weapon. It's a kendo stick. Gets it knocked out of his hand, though. Roddy with the. Oh! Blue Thunder Facebust? 
Not really sure. One, two, three. Roddy is going to the harsh environment chamber. That was a dope open to that. I liked it. Pretty good finish as well. And that like that German suplex onto the sledgehammer spot was awesome. Ready to go, King Roddy. He will continue to pimp on this day. Next up in the backstage brawl in another Archer Voidman qualifier, we got Jay Scott versus Jacob Sterry. Now, it's been a long time since I've actually had a backstage brawl match, and I think this is my first one on 2K22. So, I'm interested to see where this will go. Oh, okay. And choking Sterry. Good takedown. I thought he was going to get in the ring. Like, isn't that the opposite of what a backstage brawl match is? Oof. And the leg drop to follow. Wait, no way. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit taken aback because I've never seen a backstage brawl match in this game, so... Good catcher from Starry. And looking to... Oh, stomp on the fingies! And beating Jay up. Trying to open him up with some elbows. First Terry to the outside. Ooh! Almost snapped his head right into that announce desk. Which has no one sitting on it. Where's the multinational announce team? Oh, great counter from Jay. And... Oh! What a hyuckin'. Buster. That was a lot of shots he ate. Oh, massive suplex. Mess him up. Running power slam. I think the idea of these matches is to get the KO, right? Oh. Headbutt to the back of the head. But... Oh, 
Elbows, kicks, all sorts from Sarri right now. Oh, great counter from Jay. Oh my god, right into the ring post. Now looking for the ankle lock. Pretty good slam from Scott there, and looking for something else. I was probably thinking Road to Redemption. And another great counter from Jay. Great counter from Sterry. Oof. <laughs> Pretty sure the back of Jay's head hit those steps. him up on the top rope. What's he gonna look for? Oh, Road to Redemption! Was that enough to put Sturry away? There he gets the counter. And the big knee! Great spring, uh, springboard elbow too. Oh, trying to push Jay's face open probably. And he succeeds. Jay's bleeding. Closely from Sterry. Catches that one. Sweep. It's not even taking place backstage. Is it? And breaking the laws of physics, because why not? Catches him. And gets the win by knockout, sort of. That was a weird match. I mean, nothing against, like, the match itself, and congrats to Sterry for winning, but... That... that was a weird one, right? For example, it was called Backstage Brawl, and didn't take place backstage. At all. It ended in the fucking ring. I... I mean... It was... it was a good match. Yeah, it was, it was fun, it was stupid, but you know. Anyway, and next is another Ultra Environment Qualifier. Between Mr. X, Hero Ramirez, and Matty Meyer. Triple Threat Falls Count Anywhere style. And this gonna be good shit. Now, all three of these men have held titles before, am I fair? In fact, I think Mr. X is the current Chaos Champion. No, that's Jake, uh, that's Jacob Nitro, isn't it? He is the current Chaos Champion. Yeah, okay. See, I, I could not remember. I know. <laughs> Stranger shit has happened. <laughs> the amount of Falls Count Anywhere matches that end in the ring make the point of the stipulation feel moot, you know? For example, like, I have a pay per view themed around Falls Count Anywhere and War of Attrition. And 
I think, like, about a third of the total eliminations from each match has actually been outside the ring. <laughs> like, a lot of them end inside the ring, which is weird. Still love these three men, though. Hero Mirror is the only former world champion on PBW. He was a world champion over there. Also, to date, the only man who's won the War of Attrition and Over the Top Rumbles. So, yeah, pretty decorated dude, fair to say. Yeah, I, I honestly think it would be great if it ended in the ring anyway. Because <laughs> why the hell not? It, it would happen. It has before. And here comes Mr. X. The man who's typically my broadcast partner but could not make it tonight because he has... Uh, family stuff to attend to. Which is all fair and well and good. Yeah, this man, the former Chaos Champ, look for a shot at the world title. Yeah! And time will tell if he's able to get it. Boo, exactly, boo this man. <laughs> no, they're saying boo ones. <laughs> uh, no one's gonna get that reference. Sad. <laughs> Still one more man to go. And it's none other than the Pharaoh of Fine, the King of Cute, the Duke of Dashing, Daddy Luscious himself, Matthew. I almost said Matthew Ramirez, that's his old name, Matty Meyer. And by the way, all those nicknames actually exist. But the Pharaoh of Fine is my favourite because it rolls off the tongue so well. I mean, the main one is Daddy Luscious, but the Pharaoh of Fine just sounds way better. And also, like, this entrance, the John Morrison entrance with Bobby Roode's glorious theme music, is just great. <laughs> also, yeah, Ramirez, former PBW tech champ as well. Obviously, those titles were stripped as neither of his former tag teammates were available for 2K22, or I don't think they still are. Anyway, we have a match to get to. It's Chaos from the start. Maya and Hero going after each other. Chris Rex waiting in the corner. Picks his opportunity to attack Hero from behind. Oh! And great counter from uh, Matty as well. Strike combo. And the knees. And now uh, Ramirez waiting in the corner. And the other Ramirez waiting in the corner. That was a good kick. And Mr. X with a massive amount of strikes to Hero. Hero counters. And. Oh! Poison on him, my goodness. Sailed right over Mr. X's head for that one. Ooh. 
working over the arm. The wrist clutch assault, which I don't mind if people have. My fed, I couldn't really give less of a toss. I love the lipstick marks on both of uh, of um, Matty's ass cheeks. Anyway, do the same move again. Spinning back fist. Get us to Eddie Kingston. And oh, double team on Matt. Interesting. Catches the leg. Kick to the back of the head. Slides under for that German suplex. I love that variant of the German suplex. It is convoluted, but it always looks smooth. And relatively safe, too. Big splash there. And Poison Runner once again. Hero Ramirez has eaten at least two of those. Matty Meyer. Took a bit too much time. Taunting. And the mounted palm strikes from Mr. X. Elbow strikes to the back. Damaging the spine, knocking the wind out of Mr. X. And their hero focused on Matty. Great trip encounter. And, oh, hero toss to the outside. Looking for a pin off that, but Mr. X stopped it from uh, continuing. Oh, massive knee to Mr. X. Throws Matty back into the ring. Mr. X not grabbing the weapon before going back in. Massive kick. And just watching Matty Mai posing before attacking him. Gave him a chance at least. That was nice of him. Good series of strikes to Maya. And the Kamigoye. Hero right there to break it up. Mr. X lifting Hero and Mirrors up. Oh! Knee right to the dome, but Ramirez completely fine. Good drop kick there. No focuses on Maya. Great kick. Broken runner. And another oh kick right to the face. Back on Mr. X, and the basement hits his, uh, one of the signature moves. And, oh, sunset flip, beautiful stuff. Ramirez on fire right now. Oh, Matt Meyer with the counter. Dragging Ramirez to the center of the ring. I don't really know why, it's false count anyway. Oh, Saito suplex. And the distraction caused Mr. X to miss. Rock kick to the back. Not going to be enough for the pin, I don't think. I'd be surprised if it is. One, just one. Shooting stall. Nothing to off it. Nothing doing. Oh, chop block right to Matty Meyer. Went for the treaters are on him, Matty counted. Oh, power bombs. Ramirez right outside. And Mr. X. Oh, with the stomp. Ramirez just about breaks that up. As Matt is bleeding. This match is going off right now, man. 
The strikes on Ramirez over and over. Blocks that one. German suplex. Massive shot there. Probably thinking of looking for Heroes Landing. Gets it on the back! A double super kick. Ramirez breaks that pin up. Oh, it's the nasty strokes from Massey. Again, why drag him around? If you're going to go for the pin. Cattle mutilation. Is Ramirez going to tap? No, Mr. X stops that. Oh, what a slam right into the kick there. Almost threw him into the corner, I think. Maya tripped over Hero. X kick. And kicks at the head. Probably trying to open up that coat a bit more. Jump on the arm. Oh, Hurricane Ron. I didn't get caught off guard that time. Pen. One. Two. No. Again, looking for Heroes Landing. Gets it. One. He thought he could get the advantage while Matty was doing his taunt animation. Not unintelligent of him. Northern Lights. Suplex. And Matty. The only one standing right now. Well, kneeling, as the case may be. Oh, went for the suplex there. Great catch from Hero. Has one of his own. Jumps Mr. X right off the top. Slides out to join him. Pin. Oh no, Matty breaks it up with a springboard sense on. X and Hero on the outside. Maybe all three looking to go back in. Oh! Sunset flip! Ramirez tossed the outside. And, oh, Mr. X picking him up. Might be looking for the end. One. Two. Ramirez breaks up the pin. I don't care where this match ends right now, this has been amazing. Great counter reverse DDT. One. Two. No. The arm all oh, snaps the fingers. And oh, double team. Ramirez countered. Not for that sunset flip again, but now I caught him into a power bomb. Rose, Mr. X to the outside, has Ramirez right in the middle. Oh, heat of the moment. but let it go. No, okay, then he went back to it. That was weird. Poison Runner to Mr. Rex. Draw a kick to the back. 
sling blade to Matty Moya. Is he going to hit the Hero's Landing all the way from over there? What's he going to do? Oh, went for the elbow drop but missed. Sunset flip. One, two, no. Mr. X catches on, breaks it up. Oh my god, the kick. Great suplex there. And oh my goodness. Uh, that might have been enough. One, two. Uh, Ma Maya kicks out. Went for the rainbow moonsault but missed. Who counters that kick? But Maya with counter of his own. Oh, right into the backstabber. And there he lands it again. Ramirez breaks it up. This match, dude. Oh, elbow to the side of the head. Oh, the spinning back fist. Mr. X going off on Hero again. Axe kick. Close line. Another cattle mutilation attempt. But Hero broke it up. Pin attempt afterwards. As I'm on the rope. I was looking for the backlit DDT. Oh, beautiful. That might have been enough. One, two, no. How is this match still going? Really good counter there. Oh, he has. Oh, going for something there. Maya countered. A double super kicks. Oh, series of strikes. And now looking for heat of the moment on Hero Ramirez. Mr. X is down. This might be it. One. No, Mr. X breaks it up. Counter hip toss. Mr. X thrown over the top rope. Ramirez, oh, trying to pull off the mask. Oh, sorry, Maya trying to pull off the mask of Ramirez. Springboard moonsault. Hasn't turned around. Oh, again, looking for whatever that move's name is. That's got to be it. One, two, three. What a match. Hero couldn't get there in time to break it up. I have no problem with that ending at all. That was an amazing match. Holy hell, dude. Mr. X is going to be in the chamber with King Roddy and Jacob Sterry. You know, I, I might agree with Sneakers there, like, I don't think this is the ending I want, 
what the person I want to win, but hell, great match, nonetheless, right? And Mr. X is still a pretty good friend of mine, so. Anyway, next up, Olivia Mistral versus Betty Fight. Uh... I just don't know how it's going to stack up to the previous match. Like, that is a lot to live up to, you know? I'm going to leave the intro to play because I need to use the bathroom facilities. I'll be back. I have returned. Anyway, here comes Betty Fight. Basically the female Minoru Suzuki, from my understanding. I like Betty Fight, she's kind of awesome. And I suppose I like Olivia Mistral, even though she's mine and I don't really invest into her. That's one of my favorite, like, Taz lines ever. Oh, That was a pretty cool springboard from Olivia. Okay, these two are just casually doing awesome indie flippy shit. Fair enough. Good suplex there to Olivia. Lifts her up for another one. Betty Fight bringing it to Olivia Mistral right now. And the stomps to the back. Not really sure what to do. Oh, just elbows and punches. Fair enough. Lifts Olivia up. And. Big power slam. One. Just one. Oh, brain buster. Betty fight with all the suplexes and slams.
flying punch. <laughs> Beating star headbutt. Oh, Olivia finally showing a bit of life now. Blocks that strike. Doesn't block that. To the headbutt. And again, the kicks to the back. And ah, the old Pete don't move. Fair enough. I, I really need to probably listen to Suzuki's theme. I don't go back and listen to it enough as I should. Oh, oh that. I love that variant of the Lariat so much. That Tyler Bate one, it looks so good. Anyway, a uh, better fight with the crossface chicken wing. Chicken wing! Doesn't put her out with it though. Although she might with the pin. One, two, three. And Olivia continues to be a disappointment to me. I mean, did Olivia get more than two hits in, in that match? I tried to nullify the sneeze by moving the mic away from my mouth and, you know, turning my head the opposite way. And uh, you could still hear all of the sneeze, so I apologize for that. Anyway, next up we have a triple threat tornado tag. And it's gonna be mental, because we've got the King's Women on the left, versus LGBTKO in the middle, and the Noel Train on the right. So in order of the women from left to right, that is Callie Kaplan, Cassidy Clark, Camillo Ishimoto, Selene Adams, Noel Park, and Quinn Adams. Sorry, Quinn Edwards. It's such a good team name. I, I can't take credit for it because they're not, like, originally my tag team. But... It, it just fucking works for him. I think it's a great tag team name. Upon me. Now, I have no clue if we're going to see uh, weapons in this match. Considering it's a tornado style, but it's likely. I mean, we could see it. And here we have LGBTKO with the perfect entrance for them. I love it. Yeah. Selena, former multiple time women's champ. I think she's currently holding a belt, but I might be wrong about that.
And next up is... Well, who's it going to be? King's Women? Or no, I'll train. Mom said no, I'll park. No, I'll train. <laughs> it is the King's Women. With an entrance that fits them, because Callie is usually the bright and happy one, and Cassidy Clark isn't. <laughs> so... I really hope this Sammy and Kevin Owens entrance doesn't go away anytime soon because I, f I fucking love the entrance so much. Just Sammy dancing around Kevin and enjoying everything while Kevin's just like, calm down Sammy, we have a match to do. I know we put on a 5 star classic for Ring of Honor but you need to shut the hell up and focus. <laughs> Which means last team is going to be the Noel train. I said that's okay. Let's go. Now, of all of these uh, tag teams in the ring right now, the only ones to have not held women's tag gold is LGBTKO. Then again, they are the most recent tag team that I have, so that's probably part of the reason why. But yeah, the King's Women had the belts for a bit. Uh, the Noel Train held the belts for a really long time. And uh, this is not specifically a contenders match, but it's just it's just going to be fun to watch. Also, does anyone else miss the team of Heath Slater and Rhino? Because I do. Anyway, Quinn on Selena, Noel on Kelly, and Cassidy on Camille. Oh, big powerbomb to start one. Just one count. Imagine if that ended. Right there. Another big power bomb, this time on Noel Park. Drop kick, knocks down Kelly. Kamigoye to Camillo. Heath and Rhino were awesome, man. Like their journey to becoming the SmackDown Tag Team Champions through the summer of 2016, through a backlash, was one, one of my favorite things. Remember when Heath was over with the whole I got kids thing? That was great. Anyway, uh... There we go, a match. I have, I have to call the match. Uh, that was a good suplex to... Uh, I can't really see her because they're both out of the ring. But by process of elimination, I think it was Noel Park. <laughs> Uh, another pin attempt there, but Cassidy wasn't able to get it. And Camille joining in. Also, I just noticed how multicolored everyone's attire is. There's like pink and blue and green and red and gold. And black. It is Pride Month. Good that I could check. Really good. This makes me happy. Anyway, Camille and Casti Clock are the only two in the ring right now. Great takedown there from Kalak. And oh, oh my god, what a driver from Noel Park to Selena Adams. One, 
but no, Camille kicks out and Noel immediately slides back at the ring to focus on Selena. Good Anaconda Vice on Selena, not going to make it tap because you need to be in the ring for it to count. Imagine if a match like this with Wolves count anywhere, the ref would be going mental. Selena back in the ring, Noel as well. Quinn and Kelly are the only ones on the outside. Both members of LGBTKO in the ring right now too. Great counter from Cassidy. It's Camille with a neckbreaker. Oh, great counter there from Selena and Kelly missed that drop kick to the outside. Big slam. One. <laughs> I love multiple pinfalls like that because it's always like one, two, ah, uh, one, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, Phoenix splash to Camillo as Selena is eating all the gym suplexes. One, just one count. And oh my god, the Black Orchid! One, but Kelly breaks up the pin. Pardon me. Oh, Tiger Driver to Cassidy Clark. Modify Kaplan Mutilation. One, two. Ah, uh, Cassie had enough time to kick out. No emerging slam. Again, both members of LGBT KO in the ring. Both, well, Selena in a nice shot there. One, two, three. That was a ill-advised pin attempt from Cassie. She should have broken up the pin that was already happening. But LGBTKO get the win. That was chaotic and short. That's a pretty good emoji to use for this match, I think. I like it. It's the greatest, greatest, greatest thing called love. I don't think that same song is in this game, but it should be. Because that's an amazing song. Anyway, main event time. It was supposed to be Michael Young with Pistolero versus Juan de Ortiz on his own. However, Extreme Rules match do not allow uh, Extreme Rules matches do not allow uh, managerial positions. So it's just Mikey versus Wandero. Should still be interesting. <sighs> Big stretch from me. <laughs> And here comes the pain maker, big money Michael Young. The Lord of the Larrett. And as he lets me call him, Pan Hansen.
Uh, I'm so glad to th that he lets me say that and get away with it. <laughs> He's honestly one of my favorite people. Uh, Juan Jara Ortiz, as well. Was he a champ in my fed? I think he might have been. I really should update that accomplishments thing, or just get rid of it altogether. I don't know, I'm always torn on if I should keep the accomplishments thing, because I haven't updated it in so long. Still, there's a brilliant shirt as well. And Juan de Ortiz is a damn good wrestler. As a novel concept, a wrestling company full of good wrestlers. Huh. <laughs> I wouldn't know what that's like, because that's not my company. Good stuff for these two, Mikey. Get on for DTT. One. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff for Michael Young, though. Are you taking it to one arrow? And the stomps on the hand. Oh, tosses him right outside. And calls him up to his feet. What's he got planned? Oh, oh my god! Went for a dragon run, I think, but completely missed. How is one error or he's not dead? Jesus. Michael Young with a modified clover leaf. Accidentally bumped into the raft. Slam. Good slam. And Wondero looking for a steel chair. And bosh! Right to the brain. Fucking bosh, man. And to the back as well. Now is um, I was wondering what he was going to do. I thought it was going to set up in the corner. I was wrong. Kicks, kicks, kicks. Has him. He has him laid on the chair. Not going to go for anything off it. Just one. And big power slam. Massive boot there. Massive sense on. Ben. One, two. thing is, like, that taunting stuff happens more in this game than I think in any other. Like, you're staring right at the mini doing a taunt, and they have a weapon in their hands. You probably deserve the concussion syndrome that's gonna come your way, you know? Michael, is he gonna set up in the corner? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Just a casual Spanish fly out of nowhere.
And Honjaro gets a sledgehammer. Oh, right to the back. Right to the side of the head. Micah, oh, 0585 Lariat. One, two, three. That was a strange match. I also love how when the referee counted to one, he slid the chair out of the ring by accident and it fell out of shot so comically, just whoop. That, that was a that was an odd match. It was a fun main event. Don't get me wrong, but it was a very strange match. Props to Mikey for winning. Anyway, that'll be it for the um, AVW portion. As always, we take a little break while I set up the PBW card. So I'll see you all for that. So yeah, see you in a bit.